<clears throat> Hello everyone and welcome back to Saucy Times with Alison McDee. The hot, sweaty, saucy summertime is almost over, but it's not quite done yet. There are definitely still a few days to lie by the beach, soaking up the sun, going to barbecues, having parties, and the best part about parties is often the food. One thing I always park myself in front of at a party is the guacamole. But what do you do if you don't know if guacamole is going to be at the party you're going to? You should make some and bring it yourself. So that's what we're doing today, folks. We're going to make some yummy, creamy, delicious, saucy guacamole. Now, there are many different ways to make guacamole, and there is no wrong way. You put into your guacamole anything you like. But what I'm going to do is show you a very, very basic version, and you can add things if you want. You're going to need some avocados. Did you know that the avocado was once considered an aphrodisiac? One Aztec language named the fruit avocado which is short for their word meaning testicle tree. <laughs> I see the resemblance, do you? You'll also need tomato, some onion, a lime, and salt and pepper. To make this guacamole, it's really easy. All you do is cut everything up and mush it together in a bowl. So let's do that. And just like magic, everything is cut up and ready for us to assemble. It's almost like having your own personal woman in the kitchen. Now that I've taken the sweet, buttery flesh out of the avocado, I'm gonna take the bowl, take a fork, and go at it. Sometimes a potato masher is easier to use. Okay, once your avocado is nice and mushed up, you're just going to put everything else in. So into your avocado goes your nice cut up onion. Make sure if you're eating guacamole that everybody around you eats guacamole. You don't want to be the only one with onion breath. And then add your tomato. Juicy. Now mix up all of these colorful things together and it'll be like a rainbow for your mouth. Now finally, to finish it off, you're gonna take one line and roll it in between your fingers. No, those are your palms. Mm. But if you do this before you cut it and squeeze the juice into the guacamole, then the lime will be juicier and it'll be easier to get the juice out. That's what she said. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that hurt. Now finish off with a little salt and pepper. And you are good to go. I hope everybody has enjoyed this saucy, delicious end of summertime with me. I can't wait to see you in September. Until then, everyone, stay saucy, and I'll see you next time. Do not go laundry diving. Even if your absolute favorite shirt is in there and you are dying to wear it, don't do it. Laundry clothes have a smell.